Good afternoon, friends, colleagues, relations, and just fellow general internet people. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of Jag Lives, where today you find me here in Stobswell, <coughs> the Stobswell area of Dundee, commonly known by the locals as the Stobby. Now, the main artery of the Stobby is Albert Street, which is the uh, last surviving sort of main route into Dundee. It's got the traditional sort of shops on the bottom and the houses on top, which is very sort of the working class aspect of Dundee that you'll see uh, quite a lot of. But behind me here we have the famous Lando Cakes um, symbol. This used to be the, the bakery where they used to make all the, the, the pears, the pies, the pears and the cakes. Um, and there it is, folks. Still a shop, still Except, here. folks, it's not a bakery anymore. I said it was a bakery. Did I say it was a bakery? It's not a bakery. It is, in fact, a key cutting shop now. Yes, so made a mistake there. Never mind. There's the Fort Fort Cafe, folks. have been there many a time. Great stuff. You get, you get, oh, Mr. Whippy Ice Cream there. Look, excellent. Just a wee bit cold today for that. But that's uh, an old. It's been there for ages. Fort Cafe behind me there. I've been there, or 40s, as it's commonly known as. I've been there for uh, a cup of tea and bits and pieces and I think Rosie said she used to go there when she was younger so that's how how uh, how old the place is man right we're predominantly here to look for these um these doors you know these colorful doors that open close so that's where we're going looking for today and the first ones are just over here at uh, Nicholson's cycle shop right here they are folks look fantastic Right, folks, behind me there we have Nicholson Cycle Shop. Very famous in Dundee. It's been there since 1976, although the actual uh, business itself, the Nicholson uh, business, has been on the go since 1949. So it's the oldest cycle shop in Dundee, right behind me there, folks. And uh, I think it's now run by the, the third third generation of Nicholson. So it's uh, a very famous sort of landmark. And those two ceramic handmade tiles right there, they were fantastic, weren't they? So we're going up towards Morgan Academy now. Uh, it's another really famous landmark here in Dundee. So there it is, folks, the imposing Gothic structure of Morgan Academy. Now, it's actually burnt down. Um, there's a big fire in the roof. I can't remember, was it just maybe 10 years ago? An absolute disaster. Right, folks. <coughs> Excuse me. There it is, Morgan Academy. Built from a sum of money left in the will of uh, John Morgan, who was a famous malt man in the Dundee uh, 1800s and he left money in his will to build this fantastic structure. Originally he was going to house about 180 uh, sons of people that he employed. It was going to be an all boys school but now as you can see it's just this wonderful gothic school. Morgan Academy folks, there it is, brilliant. I've just noticed up there folks, look it says Park View Terrace, 1883. So was this place originally called Park View Terrace? I don't know. There's a couple more down there. We're going to have a look at those as well. There's obviously old windows were there, look. They're just cemented over. Yeah, there's another one up there. That just doesn't really say much. It just says EO or something. No, 80 I think it says. It's just, I think it's a... I don't know what that is. Yeah, that one's got a palm tree. 1888. I'm sure that's got something to do with India. Um, and John Morgan, he was a famous, the malt man that left money for Morgan Academy. Yeah, so that, uh, 1883 and a palm tree up there, does that signify something to do with the, the foreign climate where uh, John Morgan went to India when he was 29 and uh, started his business up there? So that could be something to do with, with, with him and the Morgan Academy right there. Is it? I don't know. I just make things up as I go along. Now, <laughs> folks, we're at the scene of one of the... Uh, my most watched videos. It is the the worst close in Dundee. Here it is, folks. But it's actually it's got a door on it now. Yeah, it's sealed shut. So that was the worst close in Dundee. But um, yeah, it looks like it's all been done up now. There you go, community retro gaming day. When's that? Games and consoles in the past. Saturday, sixth of October. Oh, it's been. Oh, it's here it is, folks. The famous size. Oh, I thought it was still called uh, Doors, but it's not. It's changed to the Stobby Chippy now. This is a 
a very, again a very famous landmark in Dundee yes this chipper here is a hundred years old uh, it used to be called Dora's and we used to go here all, all the time man we used to be able to sit in we used to sit in there on a Saturday night and have our sausage egg and chips and uh, it was just brilliant Dora's it was then back in the uh, back in the day I think it was Mr Dora had it but he's now sold the business on and it's now just called the Stobby Chippy mm. it's the famous blue dog or the Scotty dog there he is went looking for him last time found him again there he is well, I can see we have a uh, I think this is Robbie Burns oh no it's Ethel Moorhead <laughs> the most turbulent of suffragettes oh there she is right excellent Ethel Moorhead I think she threw a, a stone or a pie at um, Winston Churchill folks there we've got uh, Billy McKenzie there he is this one's just been done quite recently it's really good by Gary Gary Milnut brilliant right folks this whole area 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 is as you can see sort of full of art deco bricks and old sort of factories the whole things here man so I think that used to be an old sort of social club and we've got some more of the doors here folks now I've seen these ones before but I'll just do a, a quick okay. video of them Gemmel 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 Astration I don't know what's that supposed to be people farming it's like a farming community they're like little alien barber papa things remember them there they are though right Fantastic. he's a good one of the uh, the magpies in the moon what's he got there is that a, a worm or is it just a thanks to the piece of paper he's brought back to fill the nest and that's like one of these old chimneys that you see sitting around very good one I like the art on that one very precise very right, clean this one well this one is just sort of people chilling iPads cameras this guy's actually writing with his backpack Susie Purvis draws that's just red and blue really, isn't it here we go <coughs> another one I think if you stand further back on this one you sort of realize what it is I actually don't know what is it it's just sort of some sort of random is that supposed to be maybe animal or something I don't know random primary colors art it's a bit sore the eyes another one, one. Just sort of like nudes, nude ladies. I take out the grey ones are supposed to be men. Oh my goodness, she doesn't look happy, does she? It's like Rosie when I was decorating the other day. So there we go. Right, folks. So well, I'm going to cut short this uh, little trip because uh, it's absolutely Baltic, really cold. Here's another one. Just very quick, brief one. There we go. Look at that. It's just so cold, folks. I'm going to have to go back to the car. My hands are. I'm getting frostbite again. And as you can see, the streets of Dundee are deserted. Well, this is kind of, as I said, this is the old route into the city centre. This one, it goes all the way from the uh, the Stobswell area straight all the way down into the town centre. Um, and it's just one of the old ones that's left. Excellent Albert Street. It's a very historical uh, street, this one. It's about, obviously, it's now just been, uh, you know, just urbanised completely. But it used to be a right hub, a hub of industrialisation and, uh, and people just milling about, walking about, heading down into town with their carts and their horses. So anyway, let's get across this road before I get run over. I used to work our way down there, folks. Crikey, there we go. Right, back to the car. So cold. Right, folks, I'm very tempted there to get a guitar now. I'm 60 quid. The action on the guitar look all right, look decent enough. I could, uh, it's a right handed guitar, I'm left handed. I could obviously swap it around. Um, it's just a small light guitar, so uh, be fine for just jamming around with. And the amp looked okay. I checked online and said it's fairly decent. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Will I go and get it? Will I? Oh, Rosie got mental, obviously. But if I bought in 60 pounds worth of cushions and wallpaper she'd be delighted oh brilliant Jack fantastic but no if I bought in a guitar and an amp I don't think she'd be too happy you know I'm very tempted to go in there and have a pint because I used to go in there all the time in the Balmore and have a pint off McEwen's 80 shilling thank you very much oh there's the there's the polis oh no just look at them now shuffle them 
ready to shuffle it, eh? I know. No, you didn't even shuffle them. I don't you said you shuffled no, them. No, shuffle no them. we didn't shuffle them, you twat. <laughs> You're such a fudge. Oh, it was one of her first proper songs. Yeah, like that she wrote by herself so people writing about her. Yay! Finally! <laughs> Alright folks, we've got the uh, girls staying for T Chelsea Lee and a friend Chloe who are playing Frustration and Uno there. Rosie won Uno, I won Frustration. Get in! So we're going to go and get um, Kentucky Fried Chicken for tea. Oh my, this should be fun. Trying to uh, organise. But they've they've got their meals. I've got my meal. We'll, we'll just see what happens, man. We'll just see what happens. Right, folks. We're going in to order it. We're not going to go through drive-through. We are going in to actually order it face to face. Here we go. It's quite an awkward order because we've got four meals to to. Uh, to order so here we go right folks behind me there we have the uh, fantastic gothic structure which is morgan academy now this was originally built um <coughs> i was that bit again i was in the way of the the actual structure there uh, 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 this, uh, this gothic structure uh originally for it's it supposed to hold 180 oh for goodness <coughs> sake from a some, some i have some assistance oh, 